What's going on guys, Ben here, and today we're checking out a game called The Last Citadel. This is a roguelite, role-based, third-person shooter. And you can play this alone, or you can play this with up to four people in total. And when you're doing it that way, which I think, from what I understand, is mandatory on the harder difficulties, you'll then have like your tank, your healer, your DPS kind of classes and stuff like that. We're going to try a solo kind of option. We're in the Citadel now. I believe this, well, this is a kind of like a home base and you can kind of, you know, you've got your hysteria, your weapon vault and stats and everything like that. We're going to try this and see what it's like and give it a go. So yeah, sit back, relax. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and we're going to jump straight into it. That's our expedition. There we go. To Explorer. Adventurer. We're going to do Adventure, which is the normal one. I'm going to ready up. And it's just us, so it's going to probably start it straight away. Let's go. Yeah, I like the like the look of this at least, and it being like roll based and a road light. So it's kind of got that vampire survivors element to it that you kind of I guess level up in the in the background in between runs. So each run gets easier. So F is our dash, Q swap weapon, V to do our bash, and then one to four is our abilities. And obviously it's got control support as well. There is something there. I don't know what arranges on the Victorian. I guess we just... I don't know if we can win or if it's just we stay until we die. Looks like they're dropping stuff that we can pick up. That's quite cool, though. I don't know what way we go. Do we have a map? I don't think so. We can see what we got. So dam demonic damage just means we get plus 5% damage. And loot the body. Purificator. Oh, we can actually switch between them, so we can have the purificator as well. Oh my god, okay. Pretty strong. It's like a like a sniper almost. Slower. But we can make it work. I mean this is more my kind of style anyway. Like having the fast one if I need to. But staying back and Can we open this? No. So presumably random generate. This looks like those weapons are powerful unique weapons that will also give you negative passive. Okay. Can't be dropped. I'm just gonna swap. I wanna swap the junk rifle. There we go. Yeah. So we've got spectral demise. Another slow shooting weapon. Okay. I'm not sure if we just sacrifice the junk rifle there. Like, if we can always start a loadout with that. And break these as well. Little health kit here too. Actually overclocked her health as well. And it will count down. So you get like bonus health. I quite like that as an idea. You get like bonus health. Like I said, I'm not sure if we're just trying to survive or if we are trying to go to a specific place. Very strong weapon though. Oh, nope, nope, nope. I forget we got abilities as well. Some ammo. All this stuff. I'd say I'm being critical, the AI pathing isn't great at the moment. Yeah. 
but quite intrigued to try this on my Steam Deck because I can I feel like it's, it's not overly demanding. We're playing like 200 frames per second. <laughs> like, I imagine sitting on a on a flight doing this would be um, pretty nice and straightforward. We can actually buy that. Get an offensive drone. Okay, cool. So we've got like a little upgrade. We don't have enough for this. This would buy a new passive. Which I feel like I guess like Slay the Spire, like a new little um, passive ability. We've got the Crit Goblin as well. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, he was actually hitting me there. Oh. Okay. So I'm not kind of fully exploring the area. I'm kind of just going left and right. And I don't, like I said, I'm not sure if we're just meant to keep pushing forward. Um, Steam upgrader. You upgrade your weapons to the next rarity. So we can't upgrade the Spectral Demise. It's it's not able to be done. But we can see the stats at least. You can see Rate of Fire is much lower on these. Um, we don't actually have 75 to upgrade anyway. But yeah, that's the what we're looking out for for wanting to do that. We've got like, this little turret now as well. It's like another Shimmer thing there. I guess if we break these don't have enough there for that which I presume buys an expedition box more enemies in here I'm not sure about the spectral demise I mean it, it, it seems to have no drop off though we can just we can just shoot it at range it works quite well there More of these. That's a steam tweaker. Adding an on hit effect. That'll have a chance to trigger based on your weapon stats. Okay, so you can put like a different like little ability on that. This is another passive. We do have enough to buy that. So upgrade all weapon critical chance by five. Increase our health. Use dash cooldown. Haven't we really done the dash cooldown? What was the dash again? Dash is F. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's our bar underneath our health bar. Oh, he teleports. Oh, God. Oh, God. F. F. Abilities. 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 Oh, no. We died. <laughs> our turret's still doing its job. Wow. We got absolutely jumped on there. And then, yeah, okay. So, Venture fails. So, you can retry it, return to lobby. Um, you get your bullets and your accuracy. Or your little stats at the end as well. So, you can retry the run. And it's just going to start you start you back from the looks of it. I can see when you got, like... When there's more of you. And you've got someone tanking. You've got a dedicated healer. It's almost like... Like, uh, if anyone's, like, been following... Uh, the channel on me over on Twitch from before you know previously I've got more than 2,000 hours in Final Fantasy 14 which is rookie numbers for like most hardcore Final Fantasy 14 players but played a lot of it and um, I quite like the whole you know having your tank take the aggro your healer doing your uh, your healing obviously and you've got your DPS and stuff and I guess you can kind of have similar kind of builds here and it is random. It has regenerated this. So although the expedition we're retrying, it's not the same expedition. It's different. Um, and we did lose the weapon we did find. So this is going to be... This will add an alteration to our Praetorian, which we don't actually have the money to do anyway. So I can't actually do anything with this one. I guess this is like a, like a veil that means enemies can't come in here. Like it's protected. I mean, we can try it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the enemies won't come in. Cool. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of what intrigued me by this as well, because I was like, right, it's kind of got that risk of rain and vampire survivors kind of energy going for it. 
Because then it's got like the abilities as well. Oh my god, I got hit there. There we go. But then it's got that kind of Final Fantasy energy of party members and classes. So it's a, another drone that we can buy. Some more these green crystal things. Yeah. The dev was kind enough to give me a couple of codes for this, so I want to try this out on court and see what it's like. Um, oh my god. Quickly escalate. I mean, we are playing on medium difficulty, which I think this might be a little bit like Vampire Survivors, where you're not meant to start. Like, you're not going to win them all straight away. Because you need to, like, survive a few expeditions on the lower difficulties first. Okay, a little turret out there as well. I like it though. This is just the one class as well. Like, there's more classes that we can have. So, I'm intrigued to see this. This game, in terms of a bit about it, it's being developed and published by Honest Demon. Self-published. And... It just says 2025 as a release date at the moment. There is a demo on Steam, which I'll leave a link to the Steam page down in the description below. So you can check it out and try it yourself and see what it's like. I'm not sure if that's just here for the Steam Next Fest or if that's just a demo that's going to be here on the Steam like page in general. But um, yeah, like I said, if it's, if it's looking like all oh, this is of interest, then take a look at it. See, what, see if it's right up your street or not. Uh, see what it's like on your hardware and feels good for you guys and stuff like that i'm liking this i would just be curious to see in terms of how this works with um other people as well like getting like harder difficulties and stuff like can you play this solo or is it kind of like you can kind of play it solo but otherwise like as you get further up you're just gonna be needing to um have other people with you but like i said it does have matchmaking it does have lobbies you can join so um even if you don't have anyone you know that plays with it, you might be able to jump into random matches and play with other people once it's up and running. There's Guns and Ghosts. This is where we can actually just get and buy new weapons if we want to. I like a little shop section and free ammo as well, which is always nice. Um, yeah, let's go through here. I said my one thing is I'm not too sure what we're here for. Like, are we, uh... Oh. Presumably, we're trying to escape. I don't know what that is, that looks like, though. Oh, we've, we've locked in. This is like a boss room. Okay. Lovely. They're fast as well. We can't go in there. No. My dash. It is hectic. My stuff's not back yet. My stuff's not back yet. Nope, we're dead. We're dead. <laughs> yeah, definitely need to try some easier difficulty, I think, to begin with while we're, like, getting stronger. And, yeah, kind of building from there. And then, like I said, you can inspect, see what all the other players have as well when you're when you're all playing together. But that's the last Citadel. I um, like I said, I'm more intrigued to try this out and see see what it's like when you've got a whole kind of party of people playing playing together as well. And kind of go from there, because like I said, the, the actual roguelike kind of Citadel. <laughs> I love how we like spawn back here in the uh, in the med bay. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I um. I said you got the lobbies here and stuff just at the moment and i said it's, it's early access i don't know how many people are actually on well presumably no one who's like searching for other games anyway um but yeah you can imagine when this game is actually out on release that there's gonna be lobbies you can join and stuff like that invite just your friends or play with randoms and go from there and see what the progression's like but yeah let me know what you guys think remember to like comment subscribe thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care.